So my name is Gavin Bate. I run an organization called Adventure Alternative and also a, a number of uh, NGOs called Moving Mountains. And um, the two work in partnership with each other uh, all around the world, but mostly in East Africa, Nepal, uh, Russia, Borneo. Um, and I'm also a mountaineer, so my, my personal job is as a mountain guide. Specifically what I was talking about at the Speaker's Corner was about volunteering. And my point was that there's a lot of volunteering companies out there that sell volunteering as a product. And nowadays that product has become old fashioned and out of date because these products are sold as personal development holidays. So you could go across and you could work in a school or you could go to what is traditionally known as a developing country and you could volunteer your time and services to make someone's life better. That, that is about 25 years old, that idea, but it's still being perpetuated and unfortunately it's being exploited as well. So people are setting up orphanages just for the purpose of managing volunteers and clearly that's no good. Um, my argument, my whole premise is that if you're going to run a trip that is about putting young people especially into environments like that where they're supposed to do some good or help out or participate then that organization should have some knowledge of development because this is about development and it's fundamentally it's about human rights so in the speaker's talk corner I was talking about the post 2015 millennium development goals which is all about our planet trying to um, look after itself uh, after the millennium and what we're going to do and the post-2015 MDGs is all about using volunteers because the world's leaders have acknowledged and recognized that they can't do it anymore. They can't manage climate control themselves. They can't define, you know, massive economic change. So it's up to us. And what I'm seeing is that these volunteering organizations, the sending organizations, there's a lot of them which are just, it's just about money. It's just economic. It's not about designing a project or program that has, has the needs of the community at its heart and therefore is an equitable relationship. And, and, and I feel very strongly about this because I've spent most of my life living in these countries, in East Africa, in Nepal and so on, and my background is in development. So all I see is a load of companies just selling another product, whereas I want it to be something a bit more meaningful. The main thing that the tourism industry can do, can do is invest instead of seeing these products of volunteering as just another product to make money uh, and, and draw a margin from it and perpetuate this old-fashioned fashioned idea of, of volunteering, they should actually consider that this is a business which has a developmental perspective to it and they should invest in that, invest in the local people, invest in local organizations and learn about development. They shouldn't see it just as a commercial enterprise and that unfortunately involves changing people's minds and changing people's minds is the hardest thing of all and my organization is called Moving Mountains partly because it, changing people's minds is a bit like trying to move a mountain sometimes and therefore the tourism industry needs to get with the times basically and especially with young people I talk to young people at universities and so on and they're all saying hey this thing you're doing this volunteering stuff it's just galling it's embarrassing it's 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 ineffective it's uh, it's actually it's sort of colonial and um, and I'm saying yes I totally agree with you but there's this huge market out there that needs to change its thinking there's loads of organizations out there doing this so who's who's out there monitoring it the answer is nobody but the biggest judge of all is the consumer. And we are all connected by the net now. So a lot of these people who run these organizations, they didn't grow up in a social media generation. They're not millennials. They don't exist in that world now, which is globally connected. So they're still, they've still got this idea that you put an advert in a magazine. Uh, whereas all these young people are actually connected on Facebook, on Twitter, on social media anyway. They're already talking about it. They're already judging those organizations. And <clears throat> As in anything, including tourism, if the consumer decides, then you have to get with it because otherwise you will definitely lose out. At the widest sense of the term, being responsible is just caring for your, what you're doing, for your product. This isn't about marketing. This isn't about uh, you know, commu uh, corporate sustainable responsibility or anything. This is about what your product does. It has to be in the DNA of your company. And therefore, the the tidal wave of responsible tourism that sort of hit the market in the last 10 years is encompassing everything from the environment to volunteering to financial to social uh, implications of everything that we do when we go on holiday, uh, when we travel, just everything. 
and it's it's inevitable this isn't something that you could say oh this has come out of nowhere of course it's going to happen because people are more aware in the world anyway we are more connected we travel a lot more unfortunately there are still those organizations out there just basically perpetuating a really old-fashioned model I think the word volunteering should be abolished I think it should be rep replaced with something new um, because it's too, it's too stereotypical.